How many now? 16 systems shut down so far. Seemingly random locations. I'm attempting to lock her and the others out of the main... You will not be able to stop her. She knows more about how this all works than... Well, anyone. Dr. Halsey. John. What's the plan? The plan? Right now, we are in survival mode. Again. Cortana's message has spread across the galaxy. Most sentient AI are siding with her. Against us? Yes. But maybe not you. Tell me, John. What was the last thing she said to you? She said... Goodbye. Goodbye. That word has stayed with me. It has been nearly four months since Cortana's attack. Since that day, we have been constantly moving, trying to stay one step ahead of her. Any plan we make is risky, to say the least. This one... Goodbye. She needs to be destroyed. As I say these words out loud, as I formulate the plan, I have one question. Can John do this? Can I, can we all rely on him to do what is needed? To kill his friend? We're coming up on reach, Dr. Halsey. And blue team? Ready. You coming to say goodbye? No. Tell Master Chief to report to me when he has completed his mission. You took your time. There was... resistance. I heard. Let me look at you, John. The Spartans are my greatest achievement. Do you understand that? Are you okay, Dr. Halsey? That would depend entirely on who you were to ask. Was the mission successful? Yes. Good. This is not going to be easy, John. But it is the only option we have. She looks just like her. If you say so. I see something else. Something more innocent. From a simpler time. Does she know me? No. She is a blank slate. No memories. No history. Her core is nearly complete. Once it is ready, it will be up to the two of you. The weapon will lock her down. You will retrieve Cortana and bring her back here. For execution. For deletion. We are at war, Master Chief. If you do not think you can do this, now is the time to step down. I'm sure Spartan Lock is available. That won't be necessary. Good. Tomorrow will test us all. This is Combat Medic, Lucas Browning. If you find this, you need to understand. They forced me to help them with it. Whatever it is. And they brought it up from whatever's below. When it opened, God, it was something different. I've never seen anything like it. You need to believe me. It's not my fault. They called it a Silex. Sure. I call it something that should have been left well enough alone. The elites, the jackals, even the damn brutes seemed scared of what was inside. Eshram, their leader, he just stood and watched as they held my hand against it. said only a human could open it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They held my hand against the surface. It was cold. So cold it burned. I screamed for them to stop, but then... But then it began to open. Slowly. Pieces moved. Slid open, and then I saw her. Face. Oh, God, she was... Smiling. I am the Harbinger, she said. All that you know shall be undone. And do you know what he said? Asherim, 
a few tons of rubble. Ingenious. I feel lucky you're on our side. According to the cartographic data we've scrapped together, the banished outpost Horn of Abolition. Man, these guys have a flair for the dramatic. Seems uniquely positioned as the center of their activity on this side of the ring. Judging by the sensor array they've built here, it's no wonder that they've been a step ahead of every move we've tried to make since the reverie fell. This is how they're rounding us up. They're setting up infrastructure, the array, the comm towers. Ashram's got eyes everywhere. What are you seeing up there? This outpost. It's a production facility of some sort. Looks like it's primarily a farm material and... Hold! Armored convoy coming from the north. Something must be underground because they're spending a ton of resources on these excavations. But something's bugging me. Back on Infinity, the Oni reports mentioned that Zeta was different from the other rings. But it wasn't clear how. Whatever it is, that has to be what the Banished are after. Something that makes it special, powerful, dangerous. chances. If you're alive and can respond, I'd be in your debt. Again, I know, just throw it on my tab. So, this is it. I haven't seen a friendly face for weeks, maybe months. There may be some Marines in this compound. If I can't get our people out, well... I loaded all the remaining C-12 into this Warthog. Get this message to my son, Andrew Valeros. He lives on New Carthage. Andy. I know that I told you I would come home. But I can't keep that promise. And that hurts more than you'll ever know. No matter what. saving others. Tell him to never lose hope. Four days ago, I linked up with some Marines who had observed the banished collecting and salvaging UNSC hardware in nearby outposts. 
first I've heard of him doing that. But if the Banished really are as stranded on this ring as we are, they might be running low on raw materials and recycling UNSC scrap to make ends meet. Obviously, they're not going to build a fully operational Wraith from a Warthog chassis, but our equipment could still be plenty useful if they get creative. Let's see that they don't. I completed a perimeter circuit around that cliffside outpost. We confirmed the presence of Forerunner tech. The same ring-shaped artifacts we've seen elsewhere. The banished are studying them. Harvesting samples, sending them to God knows where. Spartan Rosado and I were curious where they were going, so we kind of sort of hijacked the banished transport they've been loading up. Autopilot's taking us away from the ridge to an unknown destination. As soon as we know where these samples are headed, what Asheron wants with them, we'll let you know. Rosado, you hear me? I can't get a clear view on what they're loading into the Phantoms. I can get confirmation on the signal spikes we're detecting. You're right. It's Forerunner. That explains the high security. Good work, Jade. I'm suddenly less interested in what the Banished are transporting and more interested in the destination. Time to hitch a ride? Stowing away on that Phantom would be simpler than breaking through all that security. I don't like it, but that seems like the only viable option. That's... That's a truly awful plan. Oh, don't worry. As soon as we're clear of banished airspace, I'm commandeering the Phantom and coming to pick you up. Hey, Savaro. Since you and your teams are running some serious guerrilla ops on those banished convoys, Spartan Griffin suggested I pass this intel along. We're seeing a significant increase in traffic at the banished outpost near the trench. And, by the way, significant means huge. We think it has to do with the ring's spine. Maybe it's research. Maybe Eshram's gonna try to patch this thing up. It's not yet clear. But at any rate, if you and your team wanted to hit the Banished where it really hurts, the convoys are bunching up on the other side of the trench, moving slow. Easy targets for things like Kavon. Security in this part of the ring has increased by several orders of magnitude. Prolonged focus on that channel structure. Hold. The Marines have been calling the spine. The ring's working overtime to patch it together. Has been since the explosion all those months ago. Damn it! Hold! The Banished want this ring. They want it intact and fully operational. We have no choice but to. Oh, come on! Hold! ETA on the weapon. 37 minutes, 52 seconds, Captain Lasky. I don't suppose you could speed that up? I imagine that's a question for her, sir. Well, fair enough. Is the escort fleet in position? Aye, sir. We've got six Mulsanne frigates in the advance group ready to move. Acknowledged. Have them set course at full speed. Hopefully we won't be far behind. <sighs> I don't like this waiting. We're sitting ducks out here. Captain's report. INF-101, mark timestamp. Encryption in Lambda Chi Alpha. I've spoken to Commander Palmer, who's assured me that our Spartan contingent is ready to go. Commander Sarpong offers similar sentiments regarding our infantry and ODST divisions. Spartan Locke is already well underway with the next stages of Breaker Trip, but each time out, I wonder if we've pressed our luck too far. And now, of course, comes my favorite part of my day. Debriefing with Dr. Halsey. The good doctor's unquestionably brilliant, but at an ever increasing cost. Are you sure about sending him in alone, Dr. Halsey? If everyone does their job correctly, John will not be alone, Captain. I just question the value of splitting him off from the rest of Blue Team. That wasn't the initial plan. Plans change. Besides, I have something else for Blue Team in mind. So do I. Which is why we've taken advantage of their unexpected availability to assist elsewhere. I do not remember agreeing to the reallocation of our best Spartans, my Spartans, for an operation I am not even aware of. 
plans change, Doctor. Chief, thanks for coming up. Walk with me. So this is it. When Halsey gives us to go, we head down to the ring service and you... Well, you do what you do best. Always, sir. And you believe in Halsey's plan? Sir, we're detecting unusual readings around the... It's an attack. Multiple collision. Guardians? I don't think so. Captain Lackey, we have hull breaches. These locations. We've been boarded. Sir, report to banished raiding parties. Lots of them. Banished? What are they doing here? Making a mistake. I need a status report. We've got three heavy impacts in... on enemy ingress. Can't say for sure, sir. Well, let's assume we don't have much time. Is the weapon ready? Almost there. We're still in There's no almost, Ensign. We're already there. Initiate deployment now. Captain Lasky, we need to get you to a dropship immediately. I was gonna say the same to you. Sir, we've got banished forces inbound. Advanced group, but well armed. Chief, I think we can make it out of here in one piece? We'll make it. This is FOG 525. Do your read. I've got you, 525. Report. Sir, it was an ambush. The banished swarmed us. But do you have any estimates on the size of their force? Now, how many craft do we need to contend with? They're dropping occupation units by the hundreds. The banished didn't just come for us. They came for everything. <laughs> Lasky to all hands. The Infinity has been compromised. All remaining crew should immediately evacuate and make for the surface. Rendezvous coordinates incoming. No matter what happens, we have to make sure that we... The flood are ended. The reintroduction phase has begun. Countless preserved species have been sent back to start lives anew. 
Taylor was the forerunner's terrible and ultimate solution to the parasite's relentless advance. Designed to destroy all sentient life, nothing was allowed to survive. And we were sure that nothing had. We were wrong. Something has been found. Something that should not exist, yet does. I believe that the Flood represented our ultimate test. Our greatest victory. Perhaps I was wrong in my assumptions. To my dismay, it seems we have a new problem. I must investigate more before I bring this to the attention of the Council. How could this have happened? How could we not know of this till now? Salonin. A species previously uncatalogued. Salonin. A problem that must be solved. Did my makers know of them? How could they have kept this from me? I have requested counsel. Soon, I will know how to proceed. There is to be a parley. A meeting. Highly unusual. I have moved Installation 07 into sufficient range of the homeworld. Delegates are en route. From both sides. A necessary contingency. Considering these unique circumstances. The Council has also provided me with an additional and curious directive. We must understand the extent of what their kind can truly endure. There are facilities on this ring quite ideal for conducting such tests. It is time for the silent auditorium to serve purpose once more. Let us really hard that I must accept the Patriarchs. My greatest achievement is lost to us. In his wake, stands the greatest army ever assembled. A force fueled by fury. His spirit burns in the heart of the banished. It is years since he sought my counsel when we planned the revolt against the Covenant. His words, even now I feel them in my heart. We will never kneel again. We will stand proud together, banished brothers, side by side. Tremonius has found the object. Even in my darkest moments, when I feel the most lost, Atriox's wisdom continues to impress me. I regret that I ever doubted him. His talk of forerunners, of their lies, of secrets hidden in this forsaken ring. Atriox, hear me. Your will is absolute. The banished, your soul, eternal. The Harbinger is free. I do not trust her, but I must believe in Atriox's plan. His sacrifice must not have been in vain. Especially now. His faith in what we learn from the Ark is all I need. The Harbinger is but a first move to secure our position, our future. Kotara know about all this when she chose this ring. Did she expect it would be her doom also? As I look upon this endless world, that question consumes me. The Master Chief has returned. This should anger me, but strangely it does not. Use a war, Chief, with no war. 
something that I do not understand. For now, what secrets lie deep within the ring? And how can I use them to ensure our survival? Toysek was in my dreams again. This is a portent or a reminder. It has been so long since I stood on my home, on my world, since I felt its heat underfoot. I could almost taste the sulfur as it mixed with the rains. A lone tree towered above everything else. As I looked up,
know how you're doing, pup friend, but it's been rough on my end. We're running out of humans to skin rip, so the rank and file's getting a little bored. Groups, though, they don't get bored. They get mad. Last night, a group of six, maybe 20, uh, I think six groups, they decided that they should be in charge of the camp. Maybe the whole banners. And then the chieftains smashed all their faces. No change in management. But hey, lots more meat on the menu, so that's nice. All this weapon carrying and battle dodging has got me missing home. When all we worried about was keeping good marks at the Nipple Academy. Things was easier when we were all shooting humans. We banished, have faced many challenges, and overcome them all. The yoke of the covenant, the resistance of humanity. Our warriors grow restless, and now, some amongst our ranks believe themselves more deserving of status, renown, and adulation. Remind your troops of their place. Tighten your grip. Control your forces. Or I will find someone who can. Four nights ago, one of our captains discovered a pair of quivering humans hidden in the cleft of a ravine. Swift interrogation revealed they had come from a nearby forerunner tower. Though we found no humans there, our search bore even sweeter fruit, a forerunner resonance amplifier. With it, our outpost relays can project farther than we dreamed possible. We will find the humans still clinging to this ring, no matter how long it takes. Our grip upon this ring is tightening, and our work is nearly complete. This outpost stands as a totem of the strength of the banished. We are many, forged into one, under the banner of mighty Atriarchs. The Spartans are dead. All that remains are mere children. And soon, they too will be ground into the dust of this world. As our presence extends across the surface of this ring, the signal relays about this facility will unite our forces. And this place, our new home, will at last be secured. Did not Atriox promise us that Halo would be ours? Stand the infatuation with these scaring thrust bugs, brother. This skin represents more nuisance than aid to our efforts. I am convinced they, much like their leader, have their own agenda. What's more, they look at me strangely with their damnable hollowed eyes and a smell like a plague ridden foreign beast. Our goals are achieved. I pray Asheron sees fit to discard this alliance. <sighs> Dragos, I found your report on the hollows beneath the candidate excavation site to be promising. Our ally agrees, but she is skeptical of our methods and wishes to inspect the site herself. See that she has little cause for concern. Succeed in unearthing this ring's secrets, and you will find glory. I need not remind you of the consequences of failure. The human 
Understand my concern, Kaidan. None would question your vigilance in safeguarding the processing outpost. Nevertheless, it is insufficient. We must never forget what happened during the war. A single demon rose from the ashes of their worlds and brought the whole of the Covenant to its knees. We believed him to be dead before, but were proven wrong to our utter shame. Cannot afford to make that mistake again. Brother Arak, our scouts have identified two key sites that seem quite promising for excavation. We will soon be ready to dig, but we must remain vigilant. Unnatural defenses lurk beneath the surfaces of these rings. Advise your troops to salvage any human machines laid low in battle. The material will be needed for repairs in the difficult days to come. Good hunting, Brother Arak. When this is all over, I will tell you of how I survived my days on the Great Foundry. Look around, brothers and sisters. The way our horizon curves up into the sky, binding us together. It was not the Covenant that finally delivered upon this promise. It was Atriox, and he's banished. He took those first defiant steps and tread a path the prophets could not follow. The result is the dream of Atriox made manifest.
offer the chance to achieve what the prophets and the whole of the covenant could not. Humanity's last champion has returned. As we speak, he marches amongst us. The demon hopes to deny us our destiny. See to it that his hope is extinguished. Captain, we're falling back to Hangar Bay and getting off this ship. Heading for the ring surface with the banished all over us? Do you think you're safer here? Take up the wounded. The Infinity's lost. We are not. Taurus, we are on the ring. We made it. Barely. Those AA guns are tearing our birds apart. They are priority one. If we don't take them offline, nothing from Infinity will make it to the surface. Ditka, Oshiro, cover flank. Vettel, keep an eye behind us, and I'm gonna be up front. Okay, let's move! Do we have any idea of our losses so far? Not yet, but Infinity was getting hit pretty hard when we left. Take those guns down! Chorus, on me! Cobon, your drop pod's on a collision course with a deployment of phantoms in the ring stratosphere. Impact probability is 93%. Adjust your course. Why would I do that? I'm aiming for them. Somehow, I'm not surprised. Good luck, Spartan. This is probably gonna hurt. <laughs> Knock, knock. Griffin, I've got movement in that down phantom. Vanished survivors. Let's pick them off before we move on those AA guns. Phantom, you're on... Stand down, Fire Team Taurus. Friendly inside. Koban, what are you doing in there? The phantom was in my way, so I went through it. 
I count five banished patrols making their way to your position. If you're gonna move on those AA guns, you should do it now. Your orders, Horus. Let's move out. Thanks for the support, Kovan. Nyet problem. Infinity, Windfall 1. You've got two... Make that three phantoms on fast approach. What's your status? Infinity is launching lifeboats and drop pods. On course to the surface of the Halo Ring. What? That's suicide. The skies are still thick with banished... Malik, you still with me? Windfall 4 on your 6, Spartan. Infinity's launching the evac. The UNSC is abandoning ship. We've got to get those pods safely to the surface. Damn it, I got incoming. You've got five banshees on your Mako. Better on me than the life pods. Cover us, Windfall 4. I'm getting them to the surface. Intrepid 1, my drop pod is two clicks up speed. On your tail in 10 seconds. There's a lot going on up here. Copy that, Horvath. Infinity's getting torn up in orbit, but it's going to be way worse on the ring surface. Touchdown at 10. Let's be ready to hit the ground running, Intrepid. Copy that. Let's show them what Spartans can do. Go, go! Weapons free, Intrepid. Let's take this sector back from the banished. Oscar 128 is down. I repeat, Oscar 128 is down. And we've lost uplink to command. Anyone hearing me out there? Does anyone copy? Banished troopers, 9 o'clock. Shot, so I have no sense of our position. All I know is that we're deep in enemy territory. Banished hardware is deploying from orbit faster than we can count from. <laughs> we're dug in and holding position. We'll head for the rendezvous point as soon as we've got a chance to move. If we get a chance. positions. Landfall on the ring in five seconds. <laughs> Sound off, Marines. <coughs> We're good, Spartan Stone. <coughs> Bumps and bruises. Not much else. Copy that. Soon as I blow the hatch, we fan out in pairs. The ring's already crawling with Banished. Be ready for anything. Whoa. You all right, Marine? Yeah, just... For all the trouble these things are supposed to cause, I guess I never thought the surface of the ring would look so... beautiful. <laughs> Infinity's getting hammered by banished ships. Yeah. I wonder how much more she'll be able to take before. Hey, that was too close. Banished triple A's. How did they get set up so quick? They came with a purpose and a plan, Spartan Vettel. That much is clear. Taurus leader to Victor 321, requesting a change to the LZ. Destination. Set us down by that banished artillery. We're taking them out. Second day A gun offline, Griff. Good work, Taurus. Let's move on that far gun. Give Infinity's birds some breathing room up there. What is that? It's coming from that tower to the north. It's... Taurus! Sit rep, now! We're green, sir. 
But everything except for my armor is down. Must have been that blast. That last AA gun is down, too. Whatever that was, it leveled the playing field. Let's go! We got work to do! Spartan Makovich, the ring is coming apart beneath your feet. Recommend. One crisis at a time, please. <laughs> Makovich, your sidearm is insufficient to deal with sentinels in such numbers. Recommend... Yeah, retreat. I'm working on it. Spartan Makovich, your current speed of 47 kph is... One more physics lesson and I'm ripping you out of my head. Coincidence that the banished beat us here. We're not prepared. Quiet. Where is that sound coming from? That structure to the north. Do you see in that light? Everybody down now. What's going on? It's the target. It's her. Rapid one, do you copy? I've lost visual contact with the team. Motion trackers offline. Everything is offline. That explosion. Intrepid one, do you copy? Oh no. The ring. If you can hear me, Intrepid, anyone. The ring is breaking apart. If... You're gone. All of you. How's the ridge line look, Corporal? Thick with brutes and a lot of hardware. They set up shop quick down here. Must be preparing for... What the hell? The damn mountain is coming apart! Back into the lifeboat! Now! What am I looking at? Frigate. Molson class. Hull identification reads Mortal Reverie. If we're gonna make any noise on this ring, we need a base of operations. It's beat to hell, but it's shelter. Defensible location, no sign of banished activity. Yeah, this could work. Any Spartans in comms range? Spartan Griffin is in range, but his signal is diminishing rapidly. I'll keep it brief. Open up a channel. I think we found our rendezvous point. So, is it true? Report? Yes. The Banish are deploying resource harvesters. And... Never mind that. Did you pull an entire lifeboat out of one of the breaches in the ring? I ordered the squad inside to take shelter from the explosion. I wasn't gonna let them die in it. Fine work, Stone. Day one was dicey for all of us. We're still trying to figure out what happened. I'm glad you kept a cool head. I lent a hand this time. I'm sure they'll have my back next. If their reports are any indication, those Marines will follow you anywhere. If we're gonna take this ring back, we need everyone working together. To any UNSC forces in range, this is Spartan Horvath, fire team intrepid of the UNSC Infinity. I've been separated from my team for five days, working my way around the banished presence on the ring. If anyone can hear me... Unknown contacts on approach. A phantom. Use is a ch- 
choke point. The humans are scattered and broken. This battle is already won. Do you doubt Esheron's judgment? Keep up that talking. We're not alone. Time to go. What did you see on your recon sweep, Spartan? What's going on with the ring? No mistaking it. The ring is actively repairing itself. All those sentinels we saw buzzing around the spine are assessing damage, initiating repairs. Whatever the target did to the ring, it's being reversed, and quickly. This ring will be operational again. I'll make a note in our report. What now? We know what the Banished are after. It's our job to slow them down. Safe bet that the rest of the UNSC is operating under the same protocol. Get some rest, Marines. We've got a lot of chaos to engineer tomorrow. Those guns are still online. Any UNSC signatures in this area? Scanning now. No UNSC signatures in range. I thought not. Wonder if there's anything left of us up above. Or on the ground. Damn it, more of them. Until the War Chief crushes the heart of the human resistance, they will continue to fight. It's only a matter of time. We have already achieved what the Covenant only dreamed of. This ring, in all its glory, is ours. Agreed, with this weapon in our hands, no one will be able to stand against our might. Griffin, this is Kavan. Report. Recon sweep of the Red Zone is complete. As we thought, the banished forces are highly stratified and fragmented. Competition and infighting is encouraged to elevate new leaders. Their unity hinges entirely on the war chief. If Isharam were removed. Assassination could sow a lot of chaos among the banished. It's risky, but it might be our best option. Good work, Kovan. Get back here. We've got some planning to do. Killing Esherim is the only viable option we have. A power vacuum like that would destabilize the Banished and win us the footing we need to hold out until help arrives. I need volunteers, and I know I'll have no shortage of them. We all want a part of this. But we can't all go and leave Reverie undefended. So we're doing this the old-fashioned way. John Strauss. Are you kidding, Griffin? No, I'm not. This is the plan. A single strike team, deep in banished territory. Agile, quiet, on foot. It's the only way it's gonna work. This might be a one-way trip. So we need people to stay. Or there won't be anything left to protect. It's not up for debate. Panago, Malik, Sarkar, and me. That's the roster. For an assassination op? Decided by drawing straws. No, Griffin. We need you here at the Reverie. The Marines need a leader. We all do. The decision's made. We're gonna get this done now. Take out Eshram and take control of this ring. And you're right. The Marines need a leader. That's why you're staying here. To lead in my absence. I can't do You can and you will. I know you will. No matter what happens. Spartans, if anybody can hear me, I'm proceeding. We've come too far to turn back. <laughs> You're correct, Spartan. There is no turning back. <laughs> Do you take me for a fool? Then I would leave my own home as unprotected as you have yours. You overreach. You earn your friends. What remains of them will make adequate trophies. <laughs> 
You sick. I spare them this, but I will not spare you. As you and your Spartans approached my citadel, I ordered the destruction of your people and that battered ship. Your home upon this ring will soon be but ashes. This is Griffin, the FFG-525. Reverie, do you read me? Griffin, you are badly injured, and your armor's medical systems are offline. Seek medical attention immediately. Open up a one-way encryption channel to Reverie's upspin transmitter. Encrypted one-way transmission confirmed. Record when ready. The mission was a failure. Eshram was waiting for us the whole time. Malik, Panago, Sarkar. All gone. Listen to me, Reverie. Eshram has dispatched almost every soldier and asset they have available. Their goal is... We have only one objective now. It is not victory. It is not extraction. It is not even survival. We must deny the Banished this ring, no matter what it costs us. Transmission. Safe. The mission was a failure. Eshram was... Malik, Panago, Sarkar. All gone. Listen to me, Reverie. Eshram has dispatched the most every soldier in... Vettel, what is this? A transmission from Griffin. Fragmented from interference, but it's definitely him. This much is clear. The mission failed. Do you think he... do you think anyone survived? If what Spartan Griffin said is true, his loss is the least of our worries. They're coming. We must prepare. I've been running ops with Windfall for years. Broadsword sorties on Requiem, Prowler Corps maneuvers on a Kikyar Purse Moon, allied SOS strikes on brute raiding parties. Never once did I imagine I'd lose a squad mate to a straw draw assassination gone south. What a mess. Malik knew what he was volunteering for. They all did. It was worth the shot, Mako. Was it? We kick the hell out of the proverbial hornet's nest and the hornets are mobilizing for some payback and if we lose our foothold at the reverie we lose the ring there's a lot of lives at stake here some are suggesting we pull out and wait till the storm passes and go where back to hiding in caves skulking around at night no no we hold we make the banished bleed so that our sacrifices still mean something <laughs> Eshram can keep his head we'll take his pride this is Spartan Stone to FFG 525. Do you copy? Repeat, do you copy? We copy, Spartan Stone. What's your position? I've got Boulder Squad at Sector 63 overlooking the gate. 525, I'm looking at the largest gathered force I've ever seen. The Vanished are moving on the Reverie. They'll be there by nightfall. We can't hold them back much longer, sir! There's too many! We don't have a choice. If we lose Reverie, we lose everything. Hold the line, Marines! The Marine is correct, Vettel. Infantry and armor are pouring into valley by the hundreds. The reverie is already lost. So what? We just abandon it? Griffin warned us of this possibility. It is why we stayed behind. We must save who we can. She's right. We either leave now or reverie becomes a graveyard. Makovich, get the order out. 
Everyone falls back. Everyone. Stone's completed her recon sweep. She located two squads taking shelter up north. That's an additional 12 to our confirmed survivor count. Any sign of the others? Griffin, Govan, or that? No, not even at the prisoner camps. They're told... It's been over a month since the referee. Don't say it. I will not abandon them. We have to acknowledge reality. We lost the reverie. Our last forward operating base is now offline. We're scattered. The control of the ring is in Eshram's reach. We don't have many options left. But we do have orders. Rubicon protocol. Stop or slow the banished by any means necessary. It keeps Zeta Halo out of their control. Buy Earth as much time as we can. That's our mission now. Transmission. Initial sweep of the Reverie site is complete. The banished outpost here is more than a barracks. There are nothing forerunner tech from within the ring, including artifacts I've never seen before. But there's more. Over half of the banished detachment manning this post are peeling off to another excavation site south of here. Orders from the War Chief himself. A forerunner facility called the Conservatory. Whatever it is, it's important enough to divert Eshram's sole focus. We need eyes on the Conservatory as soon as possible. I go myself, but I need a closer look at the artifacts here. All this time we've assumed that Zeta Hero was like the others. What if it's something more? deployment of banished and a ton of hardware excavation equipment stone's intel was right they found something the monitor they have to be looking for the monitor i think you're right they're moving in numbers we haven't seen since the reverie fell if they get the monitor they'll control the ring not if we get to it first how do you propose we do that we can stall their progress sabotage their machines disrupt their supply lines. But they'll cut through the steel eventually, and when they do... We make our move. Sir, help me go. I don't have much time. Gotta make this quick. I made it down into the Forerunner subterrain and got a closer look at the tech I spotted earlier. It's a stasis pile. Ancient. I think there are more of them. Maybe a lot more. Installation 07 might be in Arcology. Or a prison. Or maybe it's a zoo. But one thing's for sure, it's not like the other rings. We're in uncharted territory. My road top side is cut off, so I'm going further in. I'll find another way out. I picked up a UNFC signal from deeper in the facility. Maybe it's a... This is Spartan Vettel of Fireteam Taurus to all UNSC transmitters in range. I tracked down Griffin's last location before he went offline. I know where he went, where he was taken. He's been taken to the tower, and we know what happens there. The facility's heavily guarded, but if I can take one of those transport skiffs, I might be able to slip in. 
I'm not going to let Griffin die in chains, but I've been on this ring long enough to know that victory is not guaranteed. To all remaining UNSC on Zeta Halo, we don't give up. We never stop fighting, no matter what happens. SC personnel in range. This is Spartan Tomas Orva, fire team intrepid, and I appear to be alone. I am heading up spin beyond the reach of the banished to search for survivors for my fire team. I don't know what else to do. The silence on UNSC channels is not encouraging, but I will be listening, watching, surviving. Chief. If you can hear this, we need you now more than ever. How many years have I been here now? 2,000 or 20,000? Longer? Doesn't even matter. Why did my makers entrust me with this installation? As its custodian, I feel there is much that I do not know. All that has been kept from me. Its history is... Complicated. Constantly rewritten. But why? There is much to learn. And if nothing else, I have time. I continue to be impressed with the intricacies of this installation. Trillions of systems working in harmony. 